Hey, bold man. What's up? Did you know cotton candy was co-created by a candy maker and a dentist? And it was called Berry Floss. Now, Walmart, or at least they always send stuff mainly to Walmart, has this cotton candy brand with this flamingo. And they always are making weird flavors for the holidays. They made candy corn and shit like that. And I believe it's, a, it's the same company. I don't fucking know. I don't care. But recently, they also made Moon Pie cotton candy. It even comes with two Moon Pies. And it sounds weird. So, of course, we got it. We like Moon Pies. At least I do. If you don't know what Moon Pie is, you might be kind of stupid. But... Just in case you don't, it's pretty much the equivalent of two cookies that are like graham crackers, kind of stalish, with marshmallow-ish stuff in the middle, and some sort of coating, usually chocolate is like the main one, and it's kind of just like a stale snack cake that's, it tastes good though, so how? Why the you just like... I love moon pies. Moon pies are stale as fuck. Well, some people like biscotti, and that's stale. Oh god, this has such a weird smell to it. Let's see if we can get a better shot of the color. Yeah. Look at that close up. It smells better the second time. It does have a chocolatey smell, but also. You can tell it's been like in this container for a decent amount of time. Get a big piece. You know what? I don't know if it tastes exactly like a moon pie, but it's pretty sweet. That's nice. The flavor goes well with the cotton candy. It might actually kind of be a moon pie taste. Because you can tell, like, it has at least one or two flavors. Maybe that's just the cotton candy mixed with the chocolate. It's okay. I guess it really depends on if you're expecting it to be, like, chocolate cotton candy or if you're expecting it to be, like, that full moon pie experience. How much was this again? That was, like, $4. It does come with, like, two moon pies. It's a pretty decent size, honestly. This is, like... So basically, we release these as like fun little stocking stuff or type things or gifts. Smells interesting. I'm not like the most familiar with the flavor of a moon pie, so. It's gonna taste okay. I don't think it really tastes like much of a moon pie, so you're not gonna really you know, be impacted that much. I think they tried to put the other two flavors in it a little bit. Uh, I don't know, it's not. I don't know, that would be like more of a punch in the face, which I'm kind of glad it's not. I don't know, I feel like it's missing something. Well now it's gonna get official, unofficial snack time, school. Slow no. Okay, to me, it tastes good. The issue is it's one of those items it tastes pretty good, but it doesn't outweigh the fact that it doesn't have a big moon pie taste. So I'm giving it a six. I think it's okay. The taste is not bad, honestly. I don't. I didn't think it was as strong as it should be with the flavor it's supposed to be. I'm gonna give it a five. It's at least not like bad. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is an okay stocking stuffer if you really wanted it. This has been Crazy Guns. Have a good night. Berry Floss. So that makes it sound like it's meant to be used for dentist stuff. I really thought you were about to say Willy Wonka or some shit. I don't know why. The improved version of the cotton candy, which by the way, cotton candy, I guess, was started in 1897. I think. They sold it in a bale in 1904, but in 1921, it was coined as cotton candy and improved by another dentist. Of course. 
Dentists love candy. Also, if we want to post this in two days, the 7th is National Cotton Candy Day. Maybe. So keep that in mind. <laughs> Pretty much. A lot of things will stay if you really think about it. I got it. I got it. It, um, it tasted all right, but made in the USA. I love that I'm trying to like shorten the ends of these videos and you with long ass faces and like describing all again. We've been saying since we started tonight time that we need to quicken up at the end. And I've been saying we need to quicken up at I, the beginning. No, I think if anything, we always say, why are we saying our opinion twice? Either we say it at the end or we don't say it. And we don't say when we're eating it, or we say it when we're eating it, and then give it a quick score and like one sentence with it. I'm just saying, if you click it at the beginning, you know, I'll leave you it. get more people okay. to stay in the video. How about this? All of you listening and watching this at home, do you Why think? You cover the camera. I don't know. Just because, uh, so I can look more directly at you, and I'm not like you know holding it. Doesn't matter. Do you guys think it's butter? Like, do you guys care for saying our opinions twice? Shit like that. Do you think the videos will be better if we um, quicken up the beginning and go for longer reviews? Or do you think it's long, or like we should quicken up the review part and you only care about us actually trying it? Or do you think it should depend on the snack? Good thing, you put it back together. We retorn it! Have a good night. Stop trying to retorn it. Listen, if you had a fan of moon pies that you're getting a gift for, this is... They will probably be excited with just the theory of seeing this, just with the fact that it comes with two moon pies is fucking cool. <laughs>